Boys and girls, welcome to Swinnerton. This is my lovely family home, which has been uh, in our family for over 500 years, along with all the land around it. And today we're going to show you some farm animals. We've got some sheep, obviously we use for meat, but also the wool will go towards making clothes, socks, jumpers. We've got some chickens and how they come into the food chain. We've also got the gamekeeper who looks after all the wild animals, because it's not just about the farm animals, it's also about all the wild animals that live on the estate. The other thing you're going to learn today is about trees. Trees are a very big part of our lives. Uh, they also grow old and need replanting, so you can learn about trees. But the one aspect which people always forget about, the most important ones, are bees. Bees, they not only produce honey, but they're the ones that go and pollinate our flowers. By pollinating, it means that they can then flower, produce seeds that we can eat and all the animals can eat, and, and also some of the fruit. So we've got some bees for you to see today. So I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, ask as many questions as you can, and have a lovely sunny day. Thank you. Today. I got to come here because I don't, I haven't ever been here. Must wash your hands because the ferrets have their own little smell. I think it's essential to get children out of their classroom, out of their school environment and learning about the countryside, learning about the activities that take place, the work that people do in the countryside, learning more about their environment and the importance of looking after it and just gaining that practical hands-on experience. They've been hugging trees, they've been learning about the different animals and the livestock that's here. They wouldn't get that opportunity as many of them in their schools and, and their home life. It's opening their eyes to a whole new world.